Howdy, it's Marissa from Marissa Moments again. And today I want to talk about energy vampires. Just kidding. <laughs> that was extra. Anyway, have you ever encountered people where you just feel so drained after you're done either talking to them or being around them, yet they somehow always seem pretty energized or they always seem to have something negative to say? Like, I mean, literally, they could win the lottery and be like, but those taxes, am I right? I mean, they're not wrong, but come on, it's the lottery. Or they just love, love, love sharing all their problems with you because you're such a good listener. But they rarely have anything positive to say. Or you know tons about them, like you could write a book about them and they know very little about you. What's my last name? And then when you even attempt to share some news about yourself, they somehow manage to bring that conversation all the way back around to themselves. And you're just like, how'd I get here? I thought I was sharing. Guess not. Well, my friends, you are encountering energy vampires. Okay, I don't know why I keep doing that. But anyway, you get the drip. So my suggestion is to first spot them out, identify them. Second, stop giving away your energy. Focus on yourself. If somebody that you constantly find yourself around is an energy vampire, don't allow them to be in your circle anymore. It is that simple. Now, if it's somebody that you work with or someone that you are forced to be around, then you just have to be more cognizant or aware of the information that you're sharing with them and set boundaries. Don't allow people to just word vomit all over you and spill all their problems and then walk away because they're gonna be free as a bird and you're gonna be like, well, shit. How am I going to help this person? Because you have a good heart and that's what good people with good hearts do. I know because I have a good heart. Beep. Anywho, protect your energy. Don't give it away. If you want to help someone, trust me when I say being a sacrificial lamb is not helping anyone and is definitely not helping yourself. So stand in your power and don't let these energy vampires suck you dry. Fun little side note on energy vampires. They are often passive aggressive as well. Let's say you put up the flyest selfie ever. We both know it's amazing. I love it. You look amazing. I'm going to compliment you go girl. Well, that energy vampire is going to be the one that says, hey, nice books in the background. Or, hey, is that a new hairstyle? Now we know this is just the art of distraction because they don't want to give you your props where props are due. That's also another way to drain you. They just want to suck all that energy out so that way they can shift the focus from you back to themselves. Don't let them do it. You are the bomb. Stay in that notion. Stay in that mindset.